What's going on traders? Julian here. Happy Thursday. It's the 11th of March and uh, ENTX was the trade of the day that I personally put on. Uh, it was a two-sided trade and what I mean is I put on two positions at different times and I just wanted to give you guys some insight as to what I was doing, walk you through what I was looking at and uh, how I was trading this. So ENTX, super simple. This came straight off of my scan. Uh, I'm scanning every morning for opportunities and I am a trader that likes to trade volatility. Uh, for, for those of you that don't know what volatility is, it is that sort of intangible thing that hits the tape and makes price action move, in this case, up 266%. You can see some of the movers that I've got on my list, up 216%, 73%, almost 40%. These are stocks that are experiencing short-term volatility and that's what I like to trade. So when that volatility hits the tape, I'm primed and I'm ready to go. And in the case of ENTX, what I was trading today um, was a gap up. You can see that nice, big, beautiful gap, held this gap, rallied, pulled back, got to wait for a pullback, rallied again, pulled back. You can see that those lows are getting higher and higher, and then it creates a, uh, a beautiful little pennant right through here. And that was the trade. So this was trade number one. It was a very, very simple pattern recognition based trade. And a pattern recognition here uh, is this symmetrical triangle. And what we do is we're seeing and noticing that price action is actually consolidating with higher lows and lower highs up into this area called an apex. And when that apex pops, you get some really nice movement. In the case of ENTX, you can actually see uh, where I was getting in and around that five sort of 25 level, uh, this thing rallied all the way up about two and a half points. It was a very, very big trade. I think it was up four points on the day, which is nice. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I captured all of that. What I will tell you is that when I was in this, I was scalping it and I got myself up into about a 13% uh, position. And then boom, I was out of this and it was right in this area. I got a little bit spooked on that first pullback. I was already hitting my targets. I simply wanted out. This thing did end up moving higher. And this is where I started to watch this for another move. So just like this play back here, it was about gapping up, moving higher, moving higher, 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 higher uh, lows and lower highs. So we're consolidating, then the thing blasts. So from here, what I'm looking at is the same sort of situation where those lows are getting uh, higher and higher. And then what I'm looking at right through here is I actually just started to connect these pivot points just like so. And you'll actually see right through here, price action broke down to this level. And uh, the way that I targeted this out was I was looking at this level of resistance as a potential target. I saw that it was having some problems, but I also knew that if this trend line resistance broke, that we would probably move straight into that target, which we did. And because it could not break the target, confirm and move higher, I decided to let go of this position right up here for a five and a half percent realized gain on EN. TX and that is what I was doing today What I do every single day. It's just about finding those volatile trades It's about finding those things that are probably going to move and then I overlay that with some pattern recognition techniques Like I just showed you here and uh, that's the recap on ENTX and I wanted to share with you guys what I was doing. Hope that helps